Close your eyes and imagine yourself in the... Uh, well, you don't really have to, but imagine yourself in the hospital waiting for an organ transplant. Not the best of situations. However, you might think to yourself, who would be willing to donate an organ for me? How long is this gonna take? Possibly other negative thoughts? What if you didn't have to wait for a donor? What if we could simply make working organs without taking them from donors? What if we could print out organs? Hi there, my name is Kyle and I'm here today to talk to you guys about a new piece of technology. This new technology is called bioprinting. You might be thinking to yourself, what the hell is bioprinting? Or you might be asking yourself, why am I even wasting my time listening to this weird guy? Or bioprinting is the creation or engineering of living tissue through the use of 3D printing technology. Bioprinting requires the usage of a specialized machine. This machine has a very, very special name. It's called a bioprinter, which is able to print out several vital organs, such as the heart, kidneys, liver, to more basic structures, such as hair, skin, bone, and you name it. The reason for why I'm introducing bioprinting to you is because bioprinting has the potential to become the medicine of the future and possibly save countless amounts of lives. Nowadays, new diseases are being diagnosed with no apparent cures and people are placed onto the waiting list for organ transplants on a daily basis. As a matter of fact, there are over 100,000 people currently waiting for an organ. Keeping that in mind, a very small amount of people are willing and or able to donate organs to them. Also, in general, many people are not as healthy as they could be today. With bioprinting on the rise, these medical problems will soon no longer be a threat to us. Before we start going on about bioprinting, we should talk a little history. Chuck Hull was the inventor of stereolithography, the basis of 3D printing. Stereolithography is a method of scaffolding where photopolymer liquid droplets are solidified upon coming into contact with the UV radiation. This is very similar to what bioengineers are trying to do, but they want to use stem cells as a replacement for ink. Stem cells are normally derived from developing human embryos and the scientists behind bioprinting have the desire to use these stem cells because they are so easily differentiated. To differentiate a cell means to make it grow into a desired cell. For example, stem cells taken from embryos can be forced to grow into specific tissues such as bone, skin, heart, or other body tissues. The downside of doing this is that many people find this scientific technique to be unethical because human embryos are being destroyed in this process. This problem first came up when human stem cells were first discovered and used by scientists in 1998. However, scientists are currently on the verge of finding an alternate solution to bioprinting. Soon after Hull's invention, Scientist Thomas Boland patented bioprinting technology out of pure experimentation. Boland was curious one day and wanted to see what would happen if he replaces inkjet printed cartridge with cells instead of ink. Boland was only able to print 2D cells with this method. However, soon after this discovery, different group of engineers were able to print 3D cells which were better, more advanced, more preferred, more cool more better. -er. So how do you go from 2D bioprinting to 3D bioprinting? Well, it all depends on the printing technique. 2D bioprinting was normally done with your basic house office printer. On the other hand, 3D bioprinting uses an advanced printer which allows users to adjust temperature, amount of ink deposit, elevation, and much more. It would be nice if these kind of things were free but unfortunately, they're not. In order to help the field of bioprinting advance, people like you and I, the, the name is Kyle, by the way, just 
just just in case you didn't get that earlier. Uh, my my number is five eight. People like you and I have to spread awareness about this new miraculous technology. Of course, bigger parties such as the BSI Foundation will really help to accelerate the growth of 3D bioprinting. They are a nonprofit organization which helps to donate money to world leaders such as Harvard Medical, the Mayo Clinic, and here we have bioprinting. The BSI Foundation even states, Foremost in our sights is the developments being made in 3D bioprinting. You can find the BSI organization at GoFundMe.com. Now, I highly recommend you guys help out with their cause. You might be asking, why should I do that, Kyle? As of right now, the health field is one that is desperate for doctors, nurses, caregivers, and many others. This is because people are always getting sick. People are not getting any younger. And people are always in need of health care. Sure, you might be healthy and young and handsome like me. <laughs> but think about the future. 10 to 20 years from now, will our bodies function the same as they do now? I thank you guys for your time.